Hey guys, just wanted to show you the differences in image processing under different mode uh, when shooting in very low light. So first we'll start off with superior auto. Um, this is an 8 megapixel shot, 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Let's snap a picture here. Now, let's quickly go into the manual mode. Uh, I've noticed that if you go into the settings, and try to change the ISO you cannot you need to turn the screen mode off then select the ISO say you're keeping it on 50 now if you change anything from here as the shutter speed or anything see let's say we change the shutter speed so the ISO will go back to auto so this is completely a useless feature and the manual mode you cannot change the ISO and the shutter speed um, so I don't know why is it even there then it doesn't make any sense to me so uh, we will leave the ISO to auto and we will change the scene mode and go into the night scene. So let's try to keep it really steady and take a picture. We will be shooting it on a 2 megapixel 16 by 9. Okay. And we will also take a shot on 8 megapixel. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, 8 megapixel. 16 by 9 and seen as the night scene now let's see the image differences so this is the 8 megapixel first let's start off with the auto mode this is the auto the ISO selected was 3200 which is very very high exposure time was 1 by 16 if you see the processing pretty good for a high ISO shot it's pretty good details are there this one is the manual mode at 2 megapixel just barely 2 megapixel look at the exposure time 1 second exposure and look at the ISO value 250 look at how clean the picture is Look at this and look at this. See the difference there? Huge difference. Amazing processing done here. A lot of noise and Sony, uh, Sony trying to kill the noise by providing mushy processing here. Look at this processing. And look at this crispy processing here. This is because of the one shutter, uh, one second shutter and the low ISO, the very very low ISO. Now if you take, I've taken the same shot in 8 megapixel, um, same selected uh, as 1 second exposure and ISO of 250. So nice, here also it's pretty nice. The processing is very clean, there is no noise. But look at this, this is, also, uh, this is an 8 megapixel shot and this is a 2 megapixel shot. You tell me which one wins definitely the 2 megapixel shot wins it's very clean it's very crisp and I, I like uh, the processing done here again this is the auto mode superior auto at 8 megapixel look at the machinas over here in the processing look at this machinas 2 megapixel very very clean clean and crisp look at all the defined details and the 8 megapixel shot very clean as well um, but lacking a bit of uh, refined edges of the head uh, phone you can see all the edges very clearly on the 2 megapixel shot some of the edges a bit mushed out here in terms of detail and clarity and crispiness Definitely 2 megapixel shot in manual uh, mode wins it for me and that too on the night mode the night scene So what happens if you select the high ISO? High sensitivity now what that does is it increases the ISO But uh, The shutter speed it selects Would be pretty high So the shutter speed is around 1 by 8 second and the ISO value is 2000 and in the night scene the exposure 
time was one second exposure. So you need to f keep the phone very steady. And the ISO was just around 250, which was the reason the photo was very clean. But over here, again, the machine starts to appear because of the high ISO being used of 2000. Not clean at all. So I will show you again. We will go here, select it as night scene and uh, keep it as just 2 megapixel that is the way to go at 16 by 9 let's keep the phone steady there it is a click let's see the processing see now this time it's become a bit blurry because of the handshake we'll take it again tap to focus So the one second exposure definitely you need to keep your hands very very still otherwise it doesn't work well all right guys thanks for watching